guys, welcome back to my channel and this is Sonali from It's Not At Home and today we are doing what's an adjective. So in our parts of speech video, we have done um, noun before. This is going to be my second video. I also introduced Vivan to articles because uh, I think he was lacking somewhere how to use a and the. So we did a lot of worksheet on that. Uh, I'm just discussing with you how to introduce an adjective today. Uh, there is an activity book which will be coming in part two video later on. Um, and guys, if you have any kind of questions, you can leave in the comment box below. Do not forget to press the bell icon, guys, because as soon as I upload a video, it might be useful to you. It might be useful to your friends, your colleagues. All you have to do is when you uh, are subscribing my channel, just press the bell icon. If you've already subscribed my channel, guys, uh, please press the bell icon so that you can get the notification ASAP. What is an adjective? An adjective is the word that that describes noun now there are many ways to learn but i prefer uh, to make a lot of anchor charts always for vivan and for us to to go through and i um i'm going to be showing you how simple this is you all need just a simple paper colorful paper or simple white paper if you have and just write the simple rules i picked up this chart uh i'm not sure from where but i got it from somewhere and i think it's very very helpful and handy um uh, now let me show you exactly what are how are we going to learn adjectives so i've made this first anchor chart which says adjectives which means describing nouns so by now your kid needs to know what are nouns which is a name place animal or a thing i'm going to link up my noun video here you can check that out uh now it says adjectives and i've given a lot of open um, points here to discuss so what color the size how something sounds how many how someone or something behaves how a noun looks how something or someone feels and tastes so there are so many open portals here where you can discuss with your child and you can explain that anything that you need to describe the word that you use is an adjective. A lot of examples will come in place here. A lot of exercise will come in place here. Um, this will help build child's vocabulary. This will help them to, uh, to express more because adjectives simply helps them to express more of themselves when they're doing journal writing or when they're writing anything. So when I say what color, so white, red, orange, blue, rainbow, anything, the size is tiny, short, huge, small. You can say humongous, magnificent. There are so many words, but if your child is just starting to learn all these words, I think you should smaller words in the beginning in the anchor chart and then go for bigger words how something sounds loud and quiet how many five one two three four that's just the number how something or someone behaves silly kind rude graceful how a noun look bright scary pretty handsome beautiful all those words can come in here how something feels soft rough like the texture they're talking about here sharp and hard now taste can be bitter sour uh, sweet and um, savory yeah that can be it so uh, guys to take it forward there'll be a lot of activities which we'll be doing and the activity one that i've done for vivan is first are these descriptive words that I've written. So this shows that uh, feeling words, only the words for him to figure it out. And then I'm going to show you exactly how are we going to convert it, uh, convert it into an activity. It says feeling words, lazy, angry, bored, foolish, confused. Then you have hearing words, smelling words and tasting words. And then you see some pictures here. So Vivan is going to find out a picture from here and he needs to write the picture or just Tell me the picture. Uh, tell me the word from here. Uh, if you if you're making something like this, and if you want copies of this, guys, you can go on my Instagram. I will be posting all of them in my stories today, and they'll be in the folder called Anchor Charts on my page. I'm gonna be linking uh, my Instagram account, and you can definitely download all these pages or take a screenshot from there. Now, uh, once they have seen or they have read these words again and again. Tell them to use them into short sentences there itself. Lazy. I am feeling lazy today. Who got angry the other day? I am bored. This looks so foolish. I don't know. I'm confused. So you are just helping them by making short sentences on these words 
to uh, help them knowing that these are feeling words and this is how they can express and this is how the other person knows what exactly they are feeling because these are all descriptive words descriptive means uh, describe then we have an activity right here which is size shape feeling and appearance so what i've done i've made these four pockets here and i've given a lot of words okay so uh this says skinny will skinny be size shape feeling or appearance hmm could be appearance also could be size also could be shape no i think it will go to size miniature is it appearance shape size this could be here too then you have attractive attractive could be appearance appearance gigantic that could be a shape or an appearance or a size so there are many similar words here which will uh and i have used some difficult words because i know vivan will be able vivan has already done adjectives with me many times uh so i have used some difficult words here and the words are um i think i've written words back and forth both there are some easy words and some difficult words here uh and like this you will be able to finish up the activity by just matching them and showing it to the kids the next activity is adjective word that describes noun or pronoun please use an adjective for the following pictures so again a lot of pictures here a bird maybe a pink you can now now is the time when you can use this anchor chart handy and see what the picture looks like and then you think of a word it could be a pink bird it could be a beautiful bird a chirping bird a sunflower right a glowing one bee or you could say um, hungry because she's holding a fork in her hand maybe she's hungry a snake that looks like more like a uh, the harry potter snake what was the name of the club gryffindor yeah gryffindor so because of the stripe it looks like a gryffindor uh, snake and we can definitely add that so let your kids imagination just go and let them write whatever words they think can describe all these pictures and guys you can use any pictures that you want i have used what i had handy so that was one another fun activity is here write a noun for these adjectives so what we are doing we are going to be using a noun here a uh, tall boy delicious burger right because that's a noun fresh fruit a fresh apple or fresh like anything that you want to say and i've put some pictures here for just the brain to look for options and then to write here a spacious room spacious spacious hotel spacious um bathroom like anything you can so that's a noun so you have to fill in noun here the adjectives are already done for you so it, and in this way we are repeating the nouns and adjectives both um uh, this was a very hit activity from my noun uh, book so that's why i thought i have to do it again one more time so six topics with all uh, the answers i mean all the words that can describe so fast there are different ways to say fast right let's see what all can we say speedy and accelerate happy let's check it out okay elated blissful and cheerful so rather than saying just happy you can use these three words kind considerate thoughtful and courteous so here you are just teaching your children that different types of words that can be used for expressing the same thing so like if you're kind you are courteous he is very thoughtful so the same thing i mean you're you're trying to express the same emotion but by using different words so adjectives is more about learning uh, more and more and more words to describe yourself or the situation okay by now uh, you have done so many activities that uh, you will be able to write adjectives below okay so for color you need to mention 1 2 3 4 five or six of them size taste odor number texture weather shape you have to write like weather is cloudy calm sunny moist or humid or um, foggy 
like texture could be rough smooth plain velvety and then you had the numbers yeah it could be weather could be rainy too that was vivan just telling me uh, in the background uh taste could be bitter sour umami and uh, savory odor could be like anything i mean now this is the time for kids to read there's no activity on the behind but yeah so uh guys this was it and another thing that i'm going to add here is once the kids are done with that they can try doing physical traits and character traits um this is primarily to describe a person's inside emotions and outside emotions outside uh traits and inside so character traits what characters looks like on the inside so how does he look like on the inside physical traits what characters looks like on the outside so this is his outside personality traits so he's pretty or he's tiny short strong he has two legs anything that you see from outside outside green eye is that something that you can see his orange body or maybe black stripes huge hairy silver hair wears glasses furry two legs i mean two legs are sh uh, shown here so just take a picture and tell or maybe just tell your child to draw your picture and then let them tell you like you have long hair short hair your color of the eye maybe what you're wearing in terms of are you like short if you have a pet the pet is the pet has two legs or four legs or if it's a fish the color of the fish the breed uh the way they bark i mean anything these are all the outside characteristics and they are very important when you're explaining about somebody so when you're writing about someone uh it's, it's it's extremely important to know that what are physical traits now comes character traits what characters look like on the inside hmm when you have inside is not something that you see it's something that you feel and you notice once you are in interaction with somebody or once you know that person this does not come naturally this when you see you observe this happens over a period of time helpful honest bossy giving friendly afraid clumsy fair calm helpful all these are adjectives that are, that people use for describing a person's inside character traits and these are the words that people use to describe outside character uh, traits so guys uh this was just a unit on adjectives please make sure that you're doing a lot of examples a lot of open ended activities with kids i would be sharing with you uh the activity book showcasing what more can be done here and some uh, i've made some uh montessori based activities also but this video is already too long so i won't be uh, showcasing it in this one i would be showcasing it in the part 2 where we'll be showing more activities and more games to do with adjectives so guys if you have any questions on adjectives please uh, leave a comment below if you like this video please give me a thumbs up i want to welcome all my subscribers thank you so much for su subscribing to our channel um uh, means a lot to us uh if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please to subscribe don't forget to press the bell icon thanks for watching guys see you next time stay safe everyone